Welcome to the channel, everybody. Level M Diecast doing something a little bit different, but not really that different. We're still talking about Diecast. We're still talking about Hot Wheels. We're just pulling up some old school retro entertainment. This is from the Halo series. There is five models. This is the old school packaging way they used to do these. There is no uh, particular number system for this particular release. These are the old school packages. They used to have these little half circle type looking things. I thought this was fantastic packaging. I really wish they still did their premiums like this. Uh, but definitely more expensive to do it like this because there's this wraparound blister. There's an extra blister inside that the models actually sits in. And then it usually wraps around the bottom as well. There is the whole mix here. Of course, we do have the full set here from 2016. So kicking it back. Of course, there is your assortment. DMC 55, they still use that. DWJ86, of course, is this particular assortment. Shows Microsoft Studios, 343 Industries, which not exactly the same nowadays. Uh, this particular one is just from Halo. The other ones will have uh, marks for the other ones. Now, if you're asking, well, what's the deal with the Halo stuff? I can tell you that it's first-person shooter uh, video game. Um, I'm, I'm a PlayStation fanboy, so I usually don't do anything with uh, Microsoft or Xbox. So won't be able to give you much details besides that. So... We'll go ahead and crack open the first one. This is the UNSC Warthog. UNSC is like the military faction against the uh, aliens or whatever. Um, I do like sci-fi though, so that's kind of the reason why I have this set. There is your UNSC Warthog. Does have big, nice off-road tires. I love it in olive green. Looks fantastic. They also did this casting in a basic, in a premium, um, although it wasn't quite detailed up like this. This one looks fantastic. There's a lot of cool details on there. No step. Silver painted bars. There is your logo. Looking fantastic. Says UNSC on it. There is some jerry cans and stuff on the back. Some supplies and things like that. Looks really, really good. There's a turret up top. Looks cool. Painted up. Looks good. This is uh, the window piece here. There's a clear piece that goes across the two tops. So it looks pretty good. Same details on the other side. There's really nothing different for it over here. As far as front prints, doesn't have like headlights or nothing like that on there. And then there is your base deets. J52 is the day code for this from back in the Diz. That one's pretty cool. It's it's relatively heavyweight for being uh it, it's kind of big. It's kind of big if you guys have ever seen it in the basic range. Alright, next one from Halo. This is the UNSC Gun Goose. So I do believe when this particular set came out, um, I think. Almost all of these were new castings. I think the only casting that had previously existed was the Gun Goose. Or I'm sorry, the... Whatever that first one was. Warthog. Warthog. Don't, uh, don't shoot the messenger. There is the Gun Goose. This is kind of a giant oversized uh, ATV. Um, it is designed just to hold uh, a driver here. So it is built you know, relatively large to what it would be. One-to-one uh, -one in the game. Um, it would definitely be significantly smaller than the Warthog. But in this case, it's pretty much the same size as the Warthog. This one is pretty good. This one, as far as I could, as far as far I remember, uh, was never released um, ever again. I think this was a one-and-done casting. Um, it definitely did not go to the basic range, as far as I can remember. Just a very interesting uh, setup for this one. Same color as the other guy. Same wheels as the other guy. A little bit of print there in the front for the uh, brush guard and the skid plate. A couple of mounted turrets look pretty cool. A little bit of extra print on those to make them look especially detailed. Not really that detailed, but they look especially detailed. Of course, all metal because, of course, it is because it's a premium model. There is your Dietz J51. So a little bit of time between making of the castings. All right, UNSC Scorpion. This one, I believe, was also a one and done as well. This one looks pretty cool. This is a tank. Uh, not just any tank, but a uh, very fancy tank. So we'll pop this guy out of there. Very interesting blister setup. This thing is brutally wide. Uh, really, really, really wide. Um, unfortunately, there is quite a bit of plastic here. So the center of the model is all metal. Uh, but these two additional pieces on the side are plastic, which is unfortunate, but that's okay. The turret on the top is plastic as well. Does rotate full 360. Um, the gun is an independent piece, although it doesn't really move much. Um, and then there's another gun down here, which moves a little bit. 
left and right. Prints on there says UNSC. There is some very nice print on the side for the tracks. Now the bottom of the tracks are part of the base, so the bottom of the tracks are metal, although the top of this is uh, plastic, unfortunately. But still looks pretty good. Love the color again. Like military stuff, especially uh, futuristic military stuff. Super cool. No uh, additional prints on the front or anything like that. And then just the prints on the top. Pretty straightforward. Some super fine detail print in there. Looks good. Not too bad. Uh, just little tiny wheels on the bottom. So that's all you do to roll it around and do things like that. Other than that, it's just a fully metal base. You see how ridiculously wide that is compared to... All right, we got a couple of flying machines. Uh, this is the Covenant Ghost. This is a single person one as well. There's a card art for that in the back. This one also doesn't have anything on there, so I'm assuming this will be from the original Halo. Everything thus far is from the original Halo. Um, I do wish this line was still around. I mean, they still do it retro entertainment, but I feel like they did a lot more new castings back in the day. So there is the Covenant Ghost. This thing is all metal. Of course, it is designed to fly or hover or something like that. There is some clear pieces you see here. Um, that's not part of a window or anything like that. That's actually just incorporated so that it has landing gear um, and probably gives it the uh, appearance that it's hovering or floating or something like that. So that looks pretty good. It's a sort of a little bit of a chameleon style print or paint on there, uh, kind of blue and purple as the light hits it, um, which looks cool. Looks cool. It's kind of like the uh, poor man's way of doing the chameleon paint, but... It, it gets the effect in there. There is the cockpit right there. A couple of joysticks as well. A little bit of print on there. Really hard to see exactly what the print is or exactly what the details are. But it looks pretty decent. I don't know. I don't know the uh, gist of the ship. But, you know, we're taking a look at this as a die cast model. J51. This uh, bottom piece here um, is purposely painted purple. So it does fade from blue to purple. That's not part of the chameleon look on the top. That's that's actually supposed to be purple. Um, and then just um, different colors here for probably uh, some type of futuristic propulsion or something like that. Some kind of cool stuff like that. But it looks it looks okay. I'm sure uh, there will be plenty of guys that see this stuff that are Halo people for sure. Halo is extremely popular. All right, last one we're going to take a look at. This one is the Banished Wraith. This is from Halo Wars 2. So it does indicate that this is from something different. Big old battleground in the background. Pop this guy out. This one also is not going to have wheels or anything like that. Um, it's all Zamic uh, with some very, very nice like chrome red print on it. It looks fantastic. It looks really good. I definitely like that look. Um, all metal on the top. The uh, section here is plastic. That's because this could be used as a weapon, obviously. It's dangerous for... Even though this line's really not meant for kids, um, you know, you can stab something with it. It's still pretty sharp for being plastic, but that's why the base is plastic, unfortunately. The details, there is the Dietz, J51. Again, with the little uh, clear pieces so that it can land. Um, there is some uh, elevators that can be adjusted in the back. So those are connected. So you're supposed to do them into connected. You're supposed to do them together, but if you want to move them independently, you can. Although they are connected in the middle inside of the uh, casting. So I would suggest you move them together. Give you some good details for flight pattern and stuff like that. A little bit of print on them. So you get silver and then, of course, the gray itself. which looks pretty decent. There's the back of it. No other additional prints or anything like that. I'm assuming this is probably maybe autonomous or something like that, or maybe super, super high tech. Maybe that's where you have access to the ship. No uh, traditional like glass cockpit or something like that on there. So that looks super cool. It's relatively wide as well. So it's a pretty, pretty decent sized ship. Kind of looks like a giant beetle a little bit. So throw that guy down there. So there you go. That is your Halo set uh, from 20. It probably came out in 2017. Uh, which is the copyright of 2016, but that's pretty cool. I don't think we've seen um, any of these castings uh, other than this set. Um, and then that guy did come out as a basic uh, in a couple of colors, green, black, and uh, I think red as well. So there you go. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think about that. Roast me on the Halo if you want to. 
I could take it. I'm cool with it. Until next time, we'll catch you right here on Level M.